when the full moon is bright, comes a horseman known as Zorro. This bold renegade cars a Z with his blade, a Z that stands for Zorro. Zorro, the fox so cunning and free. Zorro, who makes the sign of the Z. Speak, miserable wretch. Where are the others hiding? Ten lashes more. Forgive me, Commandante, but this Indian will die before he betrays his own people. You think so, eh? All right, leave me alone with him. Please, for your own sake, tell the Capitan what he wishes to know. That donkey brain of a sergeant is right. You would die before revealing any information. But I want no information from you. Only your silence. You have a family. You want to see them again? I'm going to take you back to the mission. I shall tell that stubborn padre a few harmless tales. If you deny them, if you so much as open your mouth in protest, you will never see your family again, understand? Sergeant Garcia, a prisoner has just made a full confession. Uh, yes? Order the Lancers out. You ride to the mission immediately and have them prepared for combat. Combat? Full fighting equipment, Baboso. We ride for king and country. Yes, Capitan. Lancers, we can report immediately! No, Bernardo, you've got to try harder. I never yet knew a Spaniard who couldn't learn how to play the guitar. Now, watch here. The fingers here, huh? Now, you try it. Here, we sit down. It's easier. Here. <laughs> now, you mustn't give up. If you're ever going to cover for me when I'm out riding a Zorro, it must sound as if I'm here practicing. Now go on, you'll get it. Uh, uh, never mind. I must ride to the mission to make sure that Don Nacho got away safely. Now you just keep practicing, eh? I'm so glad it is you. I was afraid Captain Monastario might have returned. Are your Indians still hiding in the hills? Yes, but they'll come back when the danger is over. Has Don Nacho left? Not yet. I'm keeping him here until everything is safe. You may come out, Don Nacho. It is Diego de la Vega. Diego, my friend, good to see you. I don't believe you should wait too long to set out for Monterrey, Don Nacho. Quick, get back into the church. Sergeant Garcia? All sentries on every side. Keep a sharp watch. If you see anything suspicious, tell the men to shoot first and then ask questions. See, Gabita. Ortega, bring the prisoner and come with me. Yes, sir. Well, Surrounding church. See what? See that no one escapes. You don't suppose they've come to take Don Nacho by force? It appears that way. Buenos dias, Padre. Senor de la Vega? I suppose you have returned with a new trick to break the law of sanctuary. Not at all. I've returned to protect church property and your lives. Against what? Against a surprise attack by the hostile Indians. But there are no hostile Indians here. They're all just like my children. You think so? Ortega, the prisoner. What have they done to you, Innocente? Be careful, Padre. This is a dangerous savage. He has just confessed that he and his people are planning to burn the mission and kill you. But that's impossible. Tell them what you have told me. Tell them. How your people have planned revenge for a long time. How they mean to strike under cover of darkness. That's not true. Speak up, Innocente. Do not be afraid. Did you not admit that your leaders are planning to wipe out the whites in all the missions? You see, he dare not deny it. I have no choice but to place this mission under martial law. A shabby trick, Capitan Monastario. On the contrary, I'm merely performing my duty. You are beloved by all the people. I cannot risk leaving you unprotected when there is danger of a bloody massacre. Ortega, take the prisoner away and guard him well. Padre? I formally declare this mission to be under my personal military command. You will provide sustenance and shelter for my lancers while they are stationed here to protect you. And now, if you please, I shall select a private room for my headquarters. 
Sergeant Garcia, bring two guards and come with me. Excuse me, Padre. Padre, we must obey orders. Forgive me. It is quite obvious what the Comandante has in mind. Unable to get Don Nacho any other way, he now invents a false Indian uprising as an excuse to take over the mission. But as long as Don Nacho remains in church, he's still protected by sanctuary. True, but Captain Monastario will keep him here. But how long can Don Nacho live without food or water? Vile deceit. I will speak to my father. He has a knowledge of the law. Perhaps we will find out that Monastario has no legal right to use military force in this case. Adios, padre. Just as well. Monastario and his lances have taken possession of the mission. They intend to start Don Nacho out of sanctuary. Tonight, you must lock yourself in my room and play the guitar as well as you can. Yes, and I must be back before my father misses me. Now go to the kitchen and have the cook prepare plenty of food for my saddlebag. Everything is quiet, Sorrento. Very well. I will relieve you while you have something to eat. One moment, Padre. You cannot keep me from going into my own church. I have no wish to stop you. However, Padre, I cannot allow you to take food and drink to a traitor. Very appetizing. I think I will enjoy this. You are heartless. At least let me take the water to quench Don Nacho's thirst. Let him drink the holy water. I trust there will be a specially warm place reserved for you in the hereafter. 